Before the video begins, I would like to talk to you about Audible. Do you recall having a holiday tradition where your parents or grandparents would read you festive stories? Well now you can relive those memories and make some new ones. With Audible Plus membership, you can access thousands of audiobooks, podcasts, Audible Originals series, and more for only $7.95 a month. Audible is available on any Alexa-enabled device, some Fire tablets, Kindles, and Sonos devices. You can also download the Audible app for iOS or Android. But wait, there's more! You can take it a step further and get the Premium Plus membership for $14.95 a month. In addition to your normal Audible Plus perks, you'll also get one premium credit every month, which you can use to purchase anything from the premium catalog without spending a dime, regardless of price. Prime members get two free credits in the first month. You'll also get a 30% discount on any additional premium purchases. There's also no commitment required, meaning you can cancel at any time and keep all your premium purchases. If this sounds like something that piques your interest, use my links in the description below to start your 30-day free trial today. Thank you for listening, and now the video. Hello the people, Wildcard here, and welcome back to Xboxmas. It is Christmas Eve, that special time of the year where you're just eagerly excited in anticipation for the arrival of Santa Claus. And for some people, your parents are nice enough to let you open one present today. And I figured for my Christmas Eve early present to you, I'm gonna go back to my roots. Well, not exactly my roots, but um, where my joys are. And do something Yu-Gi-Oh related, because I love doing Yu-Gi-Oh related content. And I also love making videos where I get to play video games. I mean, heck, some, it fills me with so much joy. It reminds me of this picture of Virtual Gamer, where she's enjoying herself playing the Xbox. I hope someday I can find a girl as special as her that's real. But for now, I guess I can just enjoy um, the pictures of her. Including this other one by the same artist. Like, she looks so cool with that dual disc. And that bear has the perfectly manicured claws that complement her just right. <laughs> I've just been informed by my assistant Rachel that I'm sounding a bit too obsessive at this point. And while I can't name the person that she compared me to, I can tell you that... I do not wish to be compared to a literal mother f So let's move on with the game. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. It is the only Yu-Gi-Oh! game on the original Xbox. And here's an interesting fact. It used to be uh, 360 back compatible, but then people started reporting issues with it running. Namely, that if you put it in an Xbox 360, and then turn it off without going to the dashboard, the fan would keep running for all eternity until you turned the console on and back off, or just straight unplugged it. After it was reported, they, it was, they were reportedly working on a fix, but instead they decided to be easier to just remove it from the back and pat titles. So now the only way to play this game is on OG Xbox. It actually sounds and looks like one of the old Game Boy titles. Hell, the, the Link Duel, it sounds like you connect two Game Boys together via Link Cable, but no, you just connect two Xboxes together via System Link. Yeah, a bit more complicated than its namesake. Alright, so we got a Duel Machine, a Duel Machine, a Duel Machine, and Yugi. Uh, I guess I'll go against Duel Machine 3. The Duel Machine is surely enough to deal with someone of your limited strength. If you somehow manage to beat it, I might consider dueling you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. You have money. Let's see if you have smarts to program your AI with some... I. Um, I'm not, I don't see this as, like, one of the standout titles of the Xbox, but it does have the advantage as the only Yu-Gi-Oh! title on the Xbox, so if you crave a Yu-Gi-Oh! video game and don't have a portable system, this is the thing for you. 
Wait, how do I look at the car description? Oh, the Y button. Okay. All I have are normal monsters, don't I? And uh, Dawn Destiny, I'll give credit, is actually one of the first Yu-Gi-Oh games, on console at least, to play like actual Yu-Gi-Oh. None of them weird prototype rules from Forbidden Memories and Duels of the Roses. I'll summon Ogre of the Black Shadow. And that's my turn. Yeah, I said not the most impressive. They are kind of cool, but again, not the best. Although those 3D models, though. Ow. Now what do I do? Uh, I guess I'll set a monster. I swear, if he filled my- I swear, if the game filled my deck with nothing but normal monsters, I'm gonna shit. Why'd you put one of them in defense mode? Like... I- I, I don't understand. Oh, the hamburger recipe! I need this to summon Hungry Baga! But I don't have Hungry Baga in my hand, so I'll just throw down a dummy. To throw them off. Uh. What did you just play? Just desserts. Po po pee. Ow. Was that machine trying to do its best Hatsune Miku impression? I mean, honestly, as cool as this looks, and as simplistic as it is, it it only succeeds in making me miss a uh, Legacy of the Duelist back on the newer generation of consoles. Um, I feel honestly kind of bad for all the people that got this for Christmas. Like, they probably wanted this for Christmas because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! on the Xbox. They got an Xbox, they want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It makes sense. pee pee -ga. Is this a Pokemon? Uh, but those poor fools, they didn't know any better. They didn't know that Duelist of the Roses had a on the PS2 had a wicked cool storyline or that there were much much better and more gripping Yu-Gi-Oh games on the handhelds at the time or that years down the line there would be better Yu-Gi-Oh games where you didn't have to unlock the cards to play with the best decks you just had to relive them in story mode now I sound like a freaking shill I apologize what beats 1250? I summon Dragon Zombie! Dragon Zombie! Attack his Asilo Hero! Finally, I can do some real damage. Not much real damage, but damage nonetheless. I end my turn. Opponent has set a monster. What does my card do? Roll the Kree. Negates all the traps, right? Yeah, so I'm not going to activate anything yet. I'm going to wait until I see what he does. How many points would the Hungry Burger have if I summoned it anyway? Would it be enough to take on his Slate Warrior? Wait. Wait, he's they're in defense mode. He's an idiot. Well, they're in defense mode. I can take him out with anything. I summon fire, Yaro.
Fire Yoro, attack his sleeve warrior. A dragon zombie. Attack his Grand Tiki Alder. And with that, I shall end my turn. I'm starting to see right through these fr this freaking machine's weaknesses. Nothing can stop me now. Mystic Pro, what does that do? You can activate this card when a continuous spell is activated. Negate all continuous spells. Alright, I'll set it down. And then... I summon Guardian of the Labyrinth. Fire Yarrow! Attack his other Slate Warrior! Guardian of the Labyrinth, attack this face down. Should have put him in attack mode, you moron. And then, uh, Dragon Zombie, attack the remaining face down, which I'm obviously going to destroy. Yeah, the reason these duels last so long is because you have a crap deck, and your opponent also has a crap deck. And you're kind of just nudging each other to death. It's like putting, like, kindergartners in a boxing ring and expecting something to happen. I do not fear damage. That vibration is kind of off-putting, though. Go. I'll switch a uh, fire yarrow to the defense position. Then I will set a monster. And with that, I will end my turn. He's probably going to attack the dragon zombie because I left him up. Nope, but he does do a stupid. You flipped my man-eater bug. And that means your voice raider is destroyed. Draw. Finally, a tribute. Something useful can happen. I will tribute my Fire Yaru to summon Ansatsu. Dragon Zombie attack is face down monster. Now go for direct attack on Satsu. Now we're just about on even playing field. I feel confident in my abilities. Premature Burial. Your cost. And it's Voice Raider. Damn it, I got nothing for this. How do I destroy it again? Ah. I draw. I have no choice but to keep setting monsters. What are you just playing? 
Solemn wishes. How about new? No. Royal decree negates all trap cards except for itself. And with that, I will end. Wait, actually, before I end my turn, I'll switch dragons. Uh, let's go to battle phase, and dragon zombie will attack your face down. Even if he has a strong monster, I need something to destroy his weaker monsters, because that way he won't be able to tribute them for even stronger monsters. Oh wow, you destroyed a flower. Really manly man, 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 manly man. Draw. Mm. Char agreed. You do realize that my I mean, World of Queen negates that, right? The, man, for a, for a top dollar dueling robot, he's kind of an idiot. I'll switch Dragon Zombie to defense position, and now will be my turn. Come on, draw. Oh, finally, I can beat this guy. I have a thing. I will tribute my single... I will tribute Dragon Zombie to summon Amphibian Beast. Amphibian Beast will attack your horse radar. Finally. It's gone for good, and I never have to see it again. You better not have another friggin' thing that brings him back, I swear. Draw! I'll set a card, and I'll normal summon Bean Soldier! I know some people like beans. Bean Soldier, attack his face down, monster! Yeah, look who splat, not me. Amphibian Beast, direct attack! One more of those and I win. Just so you have something pretty to look at before you die, I normal summon water emotics. She will attack you directly. And now for my amphibian beast to finish you off. Robot goes bye bye. Gaki go ga. Oh, the Gaga Gigo and the Giga Gaga Gigo and the Go Giga Gaga Gigo. Not bad, but don't celebrate too quickly. You only defeated the dual machine. Oh, the oh, one of my videos finished. Which do you want? Uh, I want what's under obelisk. New cards, more normal monster crap. Okay, I am really sorry to cut this off and make it a short episode, but that was honestly more boring than I intended it to be. Don't worry, though. Tomorrow is Christmas, and because I'm going in alphabetical order, that means Christmas will be celebrated with a game that starts with the letter Z, or Z, if you're one of those kind of people from the Europe lands, or Aussie land, or Canada land whatever but maybe maybe i made this video 
to get you bored on purpose, right? Maybe you'll fall asleep. Maybe your kids will fall asleep. Because you know Santa Claus. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. And he knows if you've been bad or good. So subscribe for goodness sake. Thank y'all for watching. Happy whatever you're celebrating to all of you. And I'll check you later. Peace.